and we are live so happy happy friday happy friday everyone i want to welcome everyone guys. here uh welcome everyone here to land for success and we're going to keep this really informal if that's okay uh with everyone who may be hopping on joining us uh watching the replay and if you do you know if, if you are here for the very first time and watching one of our Facebook lives, if you could do me a huge favor, just type a one in the comments, okay? Type one in the comments so we know you're here uh, for the first time, so we can thank you for being here. And number two, if um, you have any questions for my special guest, please write them in the comment, because this individual I have a lot of respect for. Somebody once said to me, if you want to get somewhere in life, find someone who's smarter than you. And I got to tell you, when it comes to digital marketing, social media, um, he knows so much at, at such a young age. I mean, the, we call them kids, but these are young men who are just so amazing. Would you guys agree with that? When it comes to, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Datagram, I can't even keep up, right? And funnels and leads. And, 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 and one of the things he's so brilliant with is, being able to help clients, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a chiropractor, whether you're, uh, a, um, you know, you're, you're a contractor, the one thing that Quinn is amazing at doing is helping you solve your problems, get more leads and get more clients. So please put your hands together. I know you're at home, but put your hands together anyways and help me to welcome my special guest, uh, Quinn. Quinn, welcome. It's amazing being here, Gordon. Thank you for having me. I Again, it's great. It's always good to hop on live, talk to people in the chat, just really get to answer any questions, any questions that they have, and just try to help out as many people as possible. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna while you're talking, I'm gonna go share some of um, share this to some of our other friends. Um, let me jump right in. Digital marketing. I think there's three parts we're talking about today, right? About yeah. digital marketing. What What's the first thing? Actually, before we do that, tell us in 30, 60 seconds a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you got to where you are today in terms of helping clients with digital marketing. Yeah, for sure. So I started digital marketing just at the beginning of COVID of last year, around, so that's almost uh, just over a year now, just like a year and two months ago is when I really got, got into it. And so I got lucky enough to join a team, an amazing team in Australia. And that was around two months in, and they really taught me everything I knew now. So, so I just started off just like going like here and there, not really being that serious. But then once I met them, I really was going serious. And, that, and that's when I really saw the most growth. That's when I really saw like the most clientele coming in and, that, and that, the people that I was helping. Wow. So, so that's where really, I really learned all my digital marketing skills from them. Just really how to run Facebook ads, how to understand everything. Because it's the first time I opened up the ads manager or like the, to make an ad, I was lost. It was so complicated. Wow with all the targeting and all the ads, the, the different type of ads and which campaigns to choose and all that. So it's really, it, it really takes some time to master, right? I'm, I'm like, even now I'm, I'm still learning stuff day to day when I'm running new campaigns, right? There's always stuff that, that goes wrong. Nothing's ever the same. So like, it's really always just, I just say we're just about experience and just, it's always just a learning curve just, and just really sticking with it and just really seeing how well it can perform for you. Well, wow, that's amazing, Quinn. You know, you mentioned uh, Facebook and you're still learning it. I'll tell you what, I'm still trying to learn it, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm told that with Facebook, if you can figure it out, right, and it keeps on changing, you figure it out and it change again and figure it out and it changes again. So that's why it's so important to have someone who's professional with what they're doing, somebody like yourself, uh, who can, you know, monitor the changes for your clients and then re recommend what they need uh, as you go along as well. You mentioned um, Australia. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that again, because you're, you're right here. You're here at home, right? Yeah. We're in Ontario. You're, you're in Quebec. It's like we're, we're neighbors, right? Yeah. So how, how do you as a young man right here at home get to work with others in Australia? Yeah, so it's really, it's really kind of, kind of a cool story. So like with my buddy who first started, who actually got me into digital marketing in the beginning, back in the beginning when COVID first started, it was on like in February. And then so then, so, so then we were doing it together. And then I actually got in contact with these people from Australia. And so they don't really choose everybody. They really choose people who are less like the younger generation. I would say people in between the ages of 16 to maybe 25. And they wow. really focus 
on those people and people who are actually dedicated into growing their business and helping out as many, as many people as possible. And then yes. so they would bring you on onto the team. And we have group calls four to five times a week now. And just really talking about all the different ways social media is advancing, uh, changing, evolving, right? Because nothing ever stays the same week in, week out. So like some campaigns I've had to stop like two weeks in just because it's no longer the thing anymore. So, so, so you have to go with a new strategy and a new way of targeting that type of audience. Wow. So you have a group of 16, 25 year olds that you mastermind with. Yeah. That, that, that's amazing. Well, th thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your background and how you got here. And folks, if you're watching, uh, Quinn, not only is he a lifetime member here at Landed for Success, but uh, he, he's a digital marketer who uh, helps clients generate more leads and make more money. Raise your hands if you want to make more money, okay? <laughs> or get rid of that frustration, right? Um, so Quinn, you mentioned there's three things you want to teach the group tonight. Yeah. What was the first, dig what was the first thing about digital marketing that you want to talk about tonight? The first thing I wanted to talk about was just the importance of proper digital marketing, right? I know that there are many people right now doing because like because it's like I'm in the so it's like I'm I'm not gonna say like I'm in the know with all these digital marketers, right? And sometimes like digital marketers claim that oh we have this new brand new strategy, oh we have oh we can get you oh we can guarantee you results. First of all, if anybody's guaranteeing you results, I'm telling you right now, it's impossible. You cannot guarantee anybody results. I would love to be able to say, hey, you know what? If you come with me, I can guarantee you a five times return return on ad spend. But it wow. just it just doesn't work like that, right? Of course, like there are minimums, or like there's always like a range that that you can say this is what we can expect to see. But but it's impossible to say I can guarantee you this. So if 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 you're ever talking to a marketing agency or a digital marketer saying, I can guarantee you results. That's the first red flag. Wow. It's almost like Jack with the beanstalk, right? Yeah. Remember Jack and the beanstalk, right? Jack like traded his mom's cow. Was it a cow or cows? One cow, I guess, for these magic beans, right? Yeah. So you're saying there are no magic beans. It's, it's rare. <laughs> they don't like i would love to like because like i was saying i would love to say to all my clients hey i can guarantee you a three times roa or a five times roa for for your industry but it's just impossible just because every campaign is different right not all businesses are targeting the same people and what they are offering is always changing the location so it's really it's like like there's definitely like a range that that you can yes. say this is what we can expect to see but guaranteeing something is impossible I love that because, you know, Quinn, you, you're so young, but you have so much wisdom. I wish I met you earlier because I can't even tell you how many people have promised to me that they could help me generate leads and the amount of time and money and frustrations that I've spent, my clients have spent. And those guarantees, many of them, like you said, were just empty promises. So talk to us again now. You're saying the importance of digital marketing. In your opinion, what is the importance of digital marketing for, for businesses? Yeah, so really, so like it's really the proper digital marketing that I want to focus on, right? So like definitely digital marketing can help scale a business. We're talking from nothing to something big and people something that the whole city knows in 20 months. For example, I've been running a campaign ever since my first month with with, with, with the client and they have a clothing brand. And they're over in Greece. And really in the beginning, they were experiencing maybe one or two sales every month. Whereas right now we're experiencing three to four sales every four to five days. So that's almost a sale per day. And each one of their clothing goes for around a hundred, a hundred pounds maybe, or like a like hundred euros. So I think it's about like 150 Canadian dollars. So, and so that's just one example of proper digital marketing. A lot wow. of business owners, I think they struggle to see the long-term part of it. Digital marketing, if it's done correctly, is not something that should get you, like it can always give you instant results in the first two to four weeks. But if it's done properly, it's going to give you the best results in the long-term part of the campaign. And you really want to develop something that's going to last and not something that's going to last for one month and then get no results after. Wow. Quinn, um, you mentioned about a clothing company. 
And so I tagged uh, a friend, one of our Lander for Success members in here, you did, and I hope I said her name right. Um, she, um, she's also an author in her upcoming book, Lander for Success. Good news, you guys. We're cross your fingers. Second week of May is when we're looking for an official launch date. We're going to need everyone's support, um, especially your digital marketing skills to help us get the word out there, Quinn. But uh, so you did, as an example, has a beautiful clothing line she just launched. Oh. Right, beautiful clothing line. And they're around the $100 price range. You mentioned 100 pounds. Yeah. So you had a client that was selling how many? You said one every three or four days? They were selling one or two per month. One or two per month. Yeah. So hold on. So let's say this, this, this is one of my clients. It's called B-Stop Road. This is their clothing line right here. Yeah. So they sell like uh, Jeeps. We convert them. And they're worth like a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. In fact, we're going to be um, um, raffling one off uh, this year for a charity for a new drug for some kids that have um, a serious illness. But let's say this clothing okay. line. Yeah. So you're saying instead of selling one or two a month, you've now helped a client sell one and about one a day. Yeah, around on average, around one, sometimes two, because like they also do like small socks or like t-shirts. But that, but that have less of a value. So, like, if they smell, so like sometimes, like, they'll sell, like <laughs> yeah. sell or smell. Let's look at. <laughs> I'm just so, having fun here. Sometimes they'll sell maybe two yeah. t-shirts in a day, or like sometimes they also go sell like a full tracksuit, which is valued, I think, somewhere around like three hundred to four hundred dollar range. Wow. So, would it be safe to say, let's say, if it's a two hundred dollar item and you sell two a day? So now they're generating three or four hundred dollars a day in sales. Yeah. So I'd say on average it's around two to three hundred dollars a day on sales. So let's say three hundred dollars a day. Yeah. Are you talking about twenty days a week or thirty days a week? Uh, no, we we run, we will run the ads. At least this is just because of the fact that first of all they're spending quite a bit on digital marketing on the ads, yep. and because of the fact that we've been running it for eighteen months now, so we almost have twenty months. So that's why we have managed to build something that can get them that. But in the beginning, it was extremely tough. Um, yes. I, I, yeah. So let me rephrase that question then. You know, a brick and mortar business is open from Monday to Friday, let's say. Yeah. I know, you know, businesses, some open Saturday and Sunday, but let's say most are for five days a week. Yeah. But you're saying that they're making money every day, 24 seven, all month long. Yeah. Every day. So, they, they, so you're, that client went from two or three sales a month to one or two sales a day. Correct. So if you guys are watching, welcome Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary is a mortgage broker. Oh, mortgage broker. Okay, mortgage broker. Quinn, you, you, just, you just shared how you help a client in the clothing industry grow from one or two sales per month to one or two sales per day. Yeah. Now, there's a huge difference between clothing and money. Yeah, for sure. So my friend Rosemary is watching right now is she a client you can help or no definitely mortgage brokers i have i haven't personally worked with many mortgage brokers i've worked i've worked with one or two especially in there but they're in the states but we definitely do mortgage brokers we we have team members that actually specialize in mortgage brokers mortgage brokers are great to value to put on to facebook just because of the fact that most of the time they have quite a high ticket client so it's not really going so like most of the time, one sale or like one house can e easily pay off all their investment in the process. That's amazing. So Rosemary, if you're, if you're watching, uh, what's really neat is you and Quinn have something in common. You are both lifetime members here at uh, Atlanta for Success. And for the folks who are watching, if you don't know what that is, please go to our website, check out our lifetime membership because it's only $100 a year for membership. And you get to meet incredible business owners like Quinn. Uh, but right now, the first 200 members, it's only $100 one time, right? One time. And yeah. then once that's over, after 200, that goes away. So my apologies for that shameless plug right no, now no. for lifetime did, membership, right? I but the thing, guys, it's 100% <laughs> worth it. But I, got it. I bought this back in. I, I joined back in November. And it's love, I've been loving it every day since. Amazing. So Rosemary, um, please reach out to, to Quinn because 
you know, you get a half a million dollar mortgage for a client at one basis point, that's $5,000. Like one client is five grand, right? You do an $800,000 mortgage, that's $8,000. So can you, can you afford or can you not, you can't afford to not have someone like Quinn to help you get one or two deals a month, one or two deals a day. Wow. Okay, Quinn. So that was, so did we cover the importance? Did you cover the importance of digital marketing or yeah. do you, any more you want to talk about that? Uh, no, I think I just, I just like the two points I was going through. It's just, if somebody guarantees you something red flag. And then second of all, just if, if somebody's saying for like a quick strategy or like a quick win strategy, most of the time they do not know what they're, what they're doing. Sometimes they do. Cause like we always, sometimes we do with our clients just because like, so let's say if they've been burned in the past by other digital marketers, they will go for something just quick in two, two to three weeks, just to show them that it works. And then from there, we move on to the long term, just because it's really in the long term where we really get to see the full potential and what we can actually achieve for them. Wow. Love that. So long term, think long term. Yeah. Think long term. Run when somebody makes a guarantee. I love that. Okay. Thank you. So uh, second thing, what would you suggest is the second topic you would like to share with us? tonight definitely about. probably the effects that digital marketing can have on a, on the business i know right now many businesses are i'm not gonna say struggling but they're hesitant i've been talking to a lot of business owners and a lot of them are like oh you know i'm just not ready yet i just have a few a few things could, could i get back to you in like two weeks and you just never hear from them again so a lot of the business owners i'm not gonna say they're in the past but they just think about flyers or newspapers first of all newspaper ads or flyer ads, they're so, so expensive. And I don't really know anybody these days who actually reads a flyer or a newspaper, mm. right? There were definitely some. I, I don't think I bought a newspaper for five, six, seven years, <laughs> right? So like, so like even, so like, for example, I was talking to a client, she was trying to promote a website. A website is extremely easy to promote on Facebook or on Instagram, Google or anything, just because it's not too hard to set up. And so you just set up a, just a typical traffic campaign. She was like, oh, but like, is it going to work? I was like, I, I would love to guarantee you an hour away. I can definitely tell you it's going to work, right? I can say that we will get traffic to your website. The amount of traffic is going to vary on depending on the landing page that, that, that you have and also what are you offering. But mm. definitely to go to a website is probably the easiest. But in, but in the end, she just ended up going with a typical newspaper ad. So I was kind of lost. I didn't quite understand that. Right, <laughs> really, right. Like one, of the, one of the results that it can have on a business, even if you're hesitant, is it's unimaginable. Like I've helped our, our, our team in general. So like in total, we, so like we have two specialists who have been in this for over four years now, since 2016. And they have done, I think something over $14 million in sales. That's it's amazing. Really, it's amazing about, especially when it's, so, and that's why the first point I was touching on is the properly. When it's done properly, it's incredible. And when it's done wrong, First of all, I could totally go wrong. You could see absolutely zero benefit or you could just see something quick and then your whole business just burns out just because you don't have anything left. Wow. So summarize for me again, the second point, like the first point uh, was the importance of digital marketing. What is the second point here again? Yeah, so the second point was just if it's like the effects that it can have on your okay. business, Okay. if it's done right. And that's why I was covering the, if it's done right. Firstly, if it's done right, yes we can scale something that's, even if you're just starting off, right, you could always start off a bit lower on the end in the on the ad spend side, but okay. we can scale something up, I'm not, like 15, 10 to 15 times in just 10 to 20 months, depending on 10 to 20 are. months. So give me an example. When you say scale scale up, so the well, this, this is just an example. So the fact that let's say Rosemary is here and she's a mortgage, she's in the mortgage business. And you mentioned that, people in the real estate business should also contact you. Yeah. And you and I also had um, off, off uh, the air here, we talked about, uh, it's kind of neat, it ties together, right, Quinn? Yeah. Mortgages, real estate contractors. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the construction business, you're a random, you know, you're going in to do a $100,000 kitchen for someone and you need leads, uh, talk to Quinn. So Quinn, how do you scale? What, what do you mean by scaling? So scaling, we just, I, I, I just use scaling. I just means growing, right? It just means getting your name out there, growing in your profit, growing in your clientele. And a lot of the times what many business owners are looking to do, right? Most business owners started a business because they wanted to work less, 
right? They didn't go into business and wanting to work more. They wanted to make more money when working less, right? That's, but that's all of our dreams. Wow. But a lot of them get stuck into the trap. And so like, let's say, for example, if I'm talking about like a physiotherapist or dentist, a lot of them are working 10 to 12 hour days in the, in, in the clinic, working on patients, not being able to properly how to run your business just because you don't have the proper marketing strategies and you don't really, and so like you're great at what you do, you, 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 you're great at cracking people's backs, but when it, when it comes to managing your, your business, that's what people slack off a, a, like a bit. Right. So while you're cracking someone's back, you can't be prospecting. Exactly. Right. You can't answer the phone. You can't, can't get new clients. So you mentioned physiotherapy, uh, th- physiotherapists. Are you, is, is that a category that your team can actually get clients for? Definitely. So I would say the, the four main, uh, the, the four main domains that, that we do is in the financial industry. So like financial, financial advisors, real estate. So, so five actually, and then we do, I do a small, some few e-coms, so like okay. clothing or whatever. Then we would also do contractors and then the okay. health industry. Health industry. Okay. So I, I have a lot of contacts in the real estate industry and the financial industry. Uh, when you say the health industry, what, um, what's your definition of health industry that, that you're talking about? People that who would be are talking. like working in clinics. So like osteopaths, okay. chiropractors, dentists, physios, uh, personal trainers. Okay. All that stuff. All right. I think I can introduce you to a couple of dentists. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dentists are great. We love yeah. working with, with dentists. Yeah. That's what I love about this community, right? Is how we can actually also, you know, try to refer uh, business to each other as well. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and then your th- third, do you want to move on to the third point? Was there any more that you want to cover here in terms of uh, the second point on when you have the right campaign, you can scale? Uh, no, no, I think I covered it. I think I covered everything just so like really just the first point was proper digital marketing. And that's why I went into it first, just saying the proper digital marketing is probably the most, the biggest tip, the biggest thing I tell to all my clients. And then the okay. second point is what it can do for you when it's done properly. And there's then the, just the third point I wanted to talk about was just the industries that we can help. So like I just said, those industries, financial, e-commerce, uh, people in the healthcare, uh, real estate and contractors. All these people, we love working with them. We've worked with many of them. We've helped, I'm going to probably say over 30 of them. So we really very diverse in what we do. I know a lot of agencies focus on, let's say, one one domain. We, we just love working with everybody, getting to know all the different people and just really trying to help out as many people as we can. Um, you know, it's really funny. Um, the power of networking, right? Yeah. Um, I'm more old school, so I like to network. What I love about what you do is you can actually scale online very quickly. Once you figure somebody out, figure out a campaign, and then you figure out how to pour money into that campaign. I do want to share with the group here, uh, Quinn, that on the last Thursday of every month, we have a virtual speed networking event. Yeah. Right? So if you want some natural, um, organic traffic or people you can meet, Quinn, I'm going to introduce you to someone and he's been showing up to our free Facebook group. That's how I met him, our free group. So zero dollars to join you guys, follow us on Facebook. And, you know, he interviewed Mark Zuckerberg's father. Wow. Okay. So Mark Zuckerberg's father is not just Mark Zuckerberg's dad. Mark Zuckerberg's dad is also a digital marketer. And guess what his main clientele is? Dentists. Dentists. Dentist. Dentist. So Jason Hunt, in fact, he's now going to become a member. So you're going to get to meet Jason. I'll introduce you to Jason because that's the key to land for success is all we can do is just open doors. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, when you and I met, you know, could be, you could have said, oh, I don't like this guy. Like he's too old. He's like talks too fast. He's to some extent. So, or, or we're gonna say, man, I can really you, you and I hit it off really well. So some members are gonna get up, hit it off well together, and some won't. That's that's gonna be a fact of life. But it's so amazing where we can meet other individuals where we can network. So I'm definitely introduced to Jason. Can you imagine if for some reason Jason ends up introducing you to Mark Zuckerberg's father? 
whose clientele are dentists, which is your clientele, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, powerful. All right, so what's, um, and, and, and um, look at Rosemary says, I'm in, let's connect, Quinn. Okay. Oh, definitely. So I'll make sure I'll connect you with my friend, um, Rosemary. For okay. sure, for sure, definitely. Just send yeah. me a message or I'll just send you a message after this live stream and then we can talk from there. Wow. I mean, look, Rose, can you imagine if Rosemary, you could be at home and you could have a marketing arm that generates qualified leads for you all day long. I'd love, I'd love to do that for you. <laughs> right. That'd be amazing. All right. So uh, point number three, what is point number three? in terms of the importance of digital marketing? Point number three, in the, oh, okay, let's talk, let's talk about how, how you can get started. Okay. A lot of people, first thing they'll try to do is open up the ads manager. When first of all, they really haven't even evaluated if their business is good for the digital marketing. First mm -hmm. of all, do not open the ads manager. That's the last thing I can tell you. Do not even try to set up an advertisement if you have never even thought about digital marketing or if you're wow. just getting into it. First thing you got to do when you start to get into digital marketing is take, I'm going to say, take a good couple hours, sit down, write down all of your problems, write, write down what you want to accomplish. So, so like your goals in the next, not short term, right? Correct. Maybe in the next five to 10 months. And that's really, and that's also, I would say on a bit short term side, but if you can, so like really just sit down and say where you want to be in one year. Where you want to be in one year. Wow. So a lot I, I like that. So the end, you got to have the end in mind. Exactly. Okay. And then, so then once you have that, that's really the main thing, right? And like I said, take one or two days, right? So like write that down, write down a lot of stuff. I call it brain dumping. All my team members call it brain dumping. You, you just bring up a whole lot of information. Go for a walk after, go get some exercise, come back and reread through that. See if that actually makes sense and if that's actually feasible. And then so like whatever, whatever you don't like, cross that out, cancel that. And then once at the end, at the end of that, you should be able to see if you're ready to step into digital marketing, right? Like I'm saying, it's not something quick term, not everybody can do it. And the next thing I was going to touch on is if you have the correct business to do it, a lot of businesses these days, especially the ones that are starting out are having a hard time starting with the, with the digital marketing, just because they are trying out so many different things. So like, for example, if they're trying to do Google SEO or they're trying to do some YouTube ads or they're still posting in newspapers where, so that's really limiting their budgeting. So like they're really spreading across their budgeting instead of keeping it in one area that's actually going to help them. So for example, to give you some quick stats here, Google SEO is extremely expensive. It's more expensive than Google ads. Some people are charging upwards of $5,000 per month just to manage it. It's not easy to do don't try to do it mm. yourself, right? You can go look at some YouTube videos. Those YouTube videos will get you started, but in the end, it's not going to help you. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, it's hard to say, right? I would love to go onto YouTube and watch some free videos. Yes, there are some amazing YouTube videos out there for how to get started, but they're also the ones that promise you, oh yeah, just do this, this, this in the ads manager, just target your intended client and then it's going to go perfect. No, I wish it was like that. <laughs> Mm. But I, I, I wish I could run every single campaign, just build a campaign in an hour, just run from there. Right. Them, uh, why why do you think it's not like that? So what kind of roadblocks would, could, could you maybe share like one roadblock somebody actually runs into and then boom, they just stop and they wasted yeah, so all that time and money. Probably the major roadblock would either be setting up the ad campaign itself. So going with the targeting, targeting, I'm not going to say is the most important thing. It's definitely in the top three most important things when it comes down to the, uh, to your ad and if it's successful or not, then the next, probably the next most important thing would be the offer. Okay. You have to think when you're sitting down, why would somebody go with me and not the other guy who is right next to me, who is my neighbor, who's doing the same thing as me? What makes me special compared to them? Mm. Then, then once you get that, even if you try to promote that, if it's more expensive in the beginning, the most important thing, you have to make an offer. You have to say, oh, so for example, I can give you a quick offer for physios or people in the healthcare industry, dentists, or not, no, not really dentists, more, more, more people who do like manipulations, like physios, osteopaths. Osteopaths, yeah. Okay. Those type of people, the best offer 
just a quick tip for anybody who's here listening. If you are in the healthcare industry, you have to do an offer of multiple sessions. You so cannot, multiple? Multiple, uh, like multiple manipulations. Okay. okay. So like not, don't do an offer of 20% off your first, your first, visit. Uh, you know, your first visit. Because right. a lot of these industries, they start to see the real benefit after multiple uh, manipulations, after multiple visits. So that's why very often, if, if I ever do work with an, or, or like when we do work with osteopaths or chiropractors or physios, we always do a long deal. So for example, you will get 30% off your first 10 visits, right? And that's making them come back for another visit. Like, oh, I'm still getting yeah. 30% off all these, all these visits. Yeah. When I remember um, I was, when I was younger, my brother was going for a test drive for a car and being like, you know, 14 or 15. I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to hop in the car with my older brother. And before you know it, we got side swiped and we we're just testing someone's car. Right. Yeah. And, uh, I ended up like he, uh, I ended up, I'm um, going to the chiropractor for about two years after that, like three times a week. Wow. So when you talk about long-term, I can relate to that because I ended up going long-term. So if somebody would offer me 30% for the first 10 visits and I got hooked, I'd probably keep on going going back yeah. to that same chiropractor. I like that concept. Yeah. And then the next thing you would have to do if you are in the healthcare industry is anal uh, analyze your service. Are you offering a good service? Mm. A lot of issues in the healthcare industry currently are, is the retention rate of the clients. That's either because they are offering a one-time deal and not multiple deals, or they're just that their service is not up to par. So like, I'm not like I'm just giving some examples here. Let's say they have poor employees or like the, because they're working so much, they cannot can take care of the clients on the back end. So I properly call them up to reschedule an appointment. So really that's probably the best, the most important thing is analyze. Is your business ready for digital marketing? Most businesses currently, I'm letting you know, are not. Definitely mm -hmm. some are, especially like the bigger ones, always ready for digital marketing, but the ones that are just starting off, if you're not doing like an e-commerce most of them are not currently ready to get into it, but maybe in one to two months, that's when they can really scale it and just really grow. That's amazing. Awesome. Well, if um, folks, if you're watching, this is, um, this is Quinn, who is uh, a digital marketer. Quinn, your company is called Quilly. Yeah. Did I say that right? That's, yes. that's, I've never heard of that name. Why, why, why that name? Why Quilly? Did I even say it right? How do you say it? You, yeah, yeah, Quilly, Quilly, just really whatever. Okay. I just want something that went because it goes Quilly Digital. So if you put it together, Got it, goes it. QD. It's just it's just my initials, Quinn Doherty. I I I just find it cool, a bit corny. I don't know. That's amazing, amazing. So, uh, folks, if you're watching again, if uh, if you're looking to generate leads online, I mean that's 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 where the money is, right? Yeah. People struggle to get leads. Like if you woke up every morning and there was a new lead in your inbox, what could that do for your business? Yeah, no, no right? not, not just any leads, right? We have a lot of people that generate. So like, for example, if you go on the pricing range, a lot of digital marketers do per lead. We hate doing that just because a lot of the digital marketers will not care about the lead quality, just go for the amount of leads, just the highest amount of leads possible even though that they're not at all qualified. So it means that they will be charging you a lot more mm. than you have made. If you have made a hundred bucks, they sometimes charge upwards of a hundred bucks per lead. So if you get 50, 50 leads in a month, that's $5,000 mm. for unqualified leads. So really the, I would say the importance is not just any type of leads, but the leads that you want to be working with and not just some person who doesn't even want you. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. I see you throwing back your hair there. It's uh, cold. You know, this pandemic has lasted longer than any of us ever thought it would. So yeah. if you're sitting at home right now and you're thinking, why is Gordon hiding his hair? Right. Cause I don't have this beautiful hair like Quinn, right? These young people here are, this is just incredible. So Quinn, what, if somebody's at home right now, we're all stuck at home. If you're stuck at home, you guys, this may be one of the best time. If you've been thinking about digital marketing, learning about digital marketing, starting a digital marketing campaign and take advantage of the next, especially here at home. I don't know, you know, 
what province, what country you guys are in, but the government just locked us down for another four weeks. Like another four weeks, we're stuck at home. So, you know, um, Napoleon Hills us through every adversity, there's a seed of equal or greater opportunity. So there may be opportunities right now for you to, sit, uh, to do something now in the digital marketing space. Definitely. So Quint, yeah, thank you so much. Um, how do people reach out to you if they want to get a hold of you? You can just text me or um, on Messenger. We can just send me an email. So just uh, quilly digital media at gmail.com. Just a classic email address, not much. Or you could just look me up on Facebook and just shoot me a message there. I always respond to my messages. A lot of people don't. I just find like if clients want to contact me, might as well get another client if we can. Amazing. And your um, your bio is also on the landedforsuccess.com website. So folks, you guys can go to landedforsuccess.com, right? And you can look up uh, the members and you can find Quinn there as well. If you, um, if you want to reach out to us, just info at landedforsuccess.com and just put in there, hey, I'd like to connect with Quinn. And then obviously inside our paid members area, it's only hundred bucks a year, you guys. It's, I can't believe it's like people say to me, hundred bucks a year, but you've got lawyers, right? We've got um, uh, bankers, we've got mortgage brokers, we've got real estate investors, we've got digital marketers. We, got, we have like a healthcare professionals. Like we have people from every walk of life in there. And so inside the private members area, right? You'll find Quinn. And you can do more uh, potential networking inside there to see how uh, perhaps you can, um, you can help each other's businesses grow. Quinn, before you go, um, you know the drill. Let's do something fun here so the audience can know you a little bit. You ready for these questions? Always. I should have wrote down your answer from last time. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite color? Red. Always red. Red. I think you said that last time too. So why red? Uh I just, I just love red. I love wearing red. I find it contrasts well with my dark hair. It's, I just like being, it's just flashiness. Just, just, it always looks good. Red, red, red is just a, such a classy color. It's now, I hope this isn't it. I hope, and I hope it's not because you're a Montreal Canadiens fan. No, definitely not. No. Okay. <laughs> right. So all my friends that are Montreal Canadiens fans, like, come on, you diehard Leafs fans. We lost, we lost three games in a row now, starting with the Montreal Canadiens. So red. Okay. So if you had an ice cream, what would be your favorite ice cream? Cookies and cream, like last time. Always cookies last cream. cookies and cream. Okay. And right now, Quinn, if you could wave a magic wand. <laughs> Right, and do one thing for Quinn, not somebody else. Well, if you could do one thing for you right now, what would you what would you do for yourself right now? Big question, big question. Probably, I've always been wanting to take my family and my friends on a vacation. I'm not sure. See, that, see, no, see that you're thinking of somebody else now, taking your friends and your family on a vacation. No, just, what would no. you, what would you do for you? Okay, I'll go on vacation. <laughs> I'll go on vacation with my friends and family, just because. <laughs> I don't just, I don't just, yeah, just because like, it's such a, like, I love them so much. That's amazing. They, every, I, like every time I'm with them, they really just make me feel the best ever. So just really take them somewhere special, either to the beach, skiing. We all love skiing, snowboarding. That's amazing. Do you, do, you do much um, boarding at uh, Mont Tremblant? Yeah. So like my yeah. friend, uh, yes, yes. So my friend has a chalet there. I have okay. a chalet in the Eastern Township. So every weekend we try to go. It's not nice. always possible with all this stuff going on, but whenever we go, it's always a blast. That's amazing. Awesome. Well, I've only been to Mont Tremblant once. I wasn't skiing. My kids are skiing. I just hung out. My kids laugh at me, Quinn, because they're like, Dad, I know you're just going to sit in the hotel and you're just going to watch a movie or something like that, right? <laughs> and they're gone. They're skiing. I think it was around Christmas time, right after Christmas, and it was freezing up there. It was cold, cold, cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us tonight. Thank you for having and, me. And folks, if you, again, if you're watching, you're a mortgage broker, you're in the financial industry, you're in the real estate industry, right? Uh, reach out, reach, reach out to Quint. Quint, any final thoughts from you? Any final thoughts that you may want to leave um, with the folks here that are watching of uh, 
about digital marketing Any, anything at all final thoughts not much not much just my biggest tip is make sure if you do get get into it you are the right you have the right business you are ready to commit long term and you have the right person to be doing the job for you oh so that i do have a question then somebody's just getting started yeah what is a minimum i know there shouldn't be any minimum but what is a it can be intimidating, right? Like, how do I yeah. start? I wonder what, what's a minimum dollar amount that someone can start off with and then, then, then start scaling up, would you say? Yeah, so really the way the way the ad spend works, it's a, it's a bidding. You're really bidding for the clients in your industry. So if you have yeah. a big company that is the same industry for you and they're spending $5,000 a month on ads, that but that is quite a bit. $5,000 a month is definitely up there they will be getting most of the clients that they're interested in, that you're also trying to, trying to target. We have run multiple campaigns. For example, like we have a guy who's spending $50,000 a month on ads, but we, I've also been running a tutoring service for people in uh, Malaysia and they were spending $350 a month. So it, like, it varies a lot. So, so right. like, really, really, everything, really depending on your business and what type of profit you would like to see out of it. So like if you are looking to get a $5,000 client and you're willing to spend 10 bucks a day, it's not going to, it's not going to turn out the best for you. Right. You're right. Gonna be, so like it really depends on your ticket price, how much your client is worth, but we always recommend in the 500 down 500 to $1,000 range. That's most of the time good for most businesses. Some businesses like mortgage brokers or people in the construction area, just because most of the tickets, most of the clients are worth. Twenty thousand dollars plus. Most of the yeah, time, that go a bit higher. But let's say if you have a small e-commerce, for example, I was running a so like when the first started off with the clothing brand, they were only doing three hundred dollars a day on ads. So like it really varies a lot. Amazing, awesome. Well, once again, Quinn, thank you so much for um, taking the time to be here and to be anybody here. who's watching, right? You're stuck at home. Uh, reach out, have a conversation with Quinn and see how we can help scale your, your business uh, to the next level. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Quinn. Everyone, thank you so much again for being here. And um, oh, remember March, no, March, April now, right? A April 29th, 29th yeah. is our speed networking event. Don't miss it, okay? Be there. Uh, Be come there. and promote your business. Uh, sign me, up. Yeah, just sign up. It's, it's a free event. No excuse. And then the following day, 6.30 p.m. You know, I love to see if we can have 500 families all across the country. Right? Doesn't matter. Yeah, like you could be amazing. in a chalet in Vancouver or like in uh, Chilliwack somewhere. Right? Uh, and let's, let's all watch Think and Grow Rich the movie together. Right? If you need a ticket, reach out to Quinn. Reach out to me. Uh, leave a comment on here. Let's make sure you get a free complimentary ticket to watch Think and Grow Rich, the movie. It's the book that's come to life, all right? Exactly. And we can all do it together on, on screen. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So thank you, Quinn. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.